You're supposed to be urging me on. You're supposed to be supporting me, not the deadly alien necromorph evil things. Oh, it's like a saw blade thing. Okay. Crew member sobs? Yeah, that's gonna be me in a couple minutes. Wait, 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 wait. Our two foot I want to punch. Okay. Do I get like a robot punch like the guys from Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Do I get those? Dude, don't ask me to help you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just started my playthrough. I only have one weapon. I just learned the base controls. Don't ask me to do shit. Okay, so how do I help the guy? What do I have to do? Oh, this looks important. Oh, collectibles? Yeah. Cool. Consumable items. I love it. How do I help the dude? Do I have to use the thing on the door? Ah, I have to use the thing on the door. It's gonna be like that, is it? Okay then, alright, ready then. Sorry dude, I was a little bit too late, I was trying to... Whoa, alright, on a scale of 1 to 10, how dead is this guy? Do we think we can save him? No, he- no, wow, he looks pretty mangled, he's missing a leg or two? And he has ragdoll physics, I think it's too late for him. It was a good afterthought though. That sounds like me when I've gone without Coca-Cola for like three days. Open. Open. Wait. What is this? Unlocked. Security request retrieved. It's dying. We got that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Okay. I think I want to turn that TTS voice off next time, because it kind of ruins the immersion a little bit. I think it's an accessibility feature, and I didn't interpret it as that initially. Stand by. Isaac. Oh my god, Isaac. Can you not send me a transmission? It's really spooky out here, bro. He's gone. Nothing I can do. Yeah, no shit. What the fuck are these things? I saw it. I watched it happen, saw, dude. I was there. I had front row seats. Wearing uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Maybe. Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Oh, we need to get to the bottom of what the hell's going on. We need to get to the bottom before all the resources are being kept. And you're both repair techs. Oh, they're right outside. Looks good that they survived. I'd give it like five minutes. Knowing my luck, I'll probably die before they do. The system, and the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Kill herself? Yeah, she always does. Find That's what I would do. I'll be back soon. Okay, well, Isaac Clark's wife must live because there's a dead space too. Stand by. Stand by, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Gun ready. Necromorphs ready? Hopefully they're not. Oh, not the bloody vents. I hate the bloody vents. Replace the damaged tram. Okay. Got some ammo. That's cool. Cargo arrival. Right. This yeah, place needs power. power. So what do I have to do? Restore the circuit or some shit like that? Oh, this is where I saw the creepy guy walking. Okay, so there's definitely gonna be nasties. Nope. What do you mean nope? nope. Okay, aiming in this is a little hard. It's a little bit sensitive, if I'm being honest. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm okay. diverting power to the door. I see. Wait, are you automatic? Can they come through automatic doors, or is this like a sequestered off, like, if you go through a doorway, they can't catch up with you? 
I need to know, that way I can run past enemies if I need to. Alright, we made it to the first save point. That's better than I thought I would do, but I'm not going to count my blessings too soon. Open. Oh. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. No Don't way. bother shooting him in the head. Yeah, the message said to cut off their limbs, right? That's why I've been aiming for arms. Or do they just stop moving? Okay. So I've heard another thing about Dead Space, is that the enemies are, like, incredibly dynamic. Yeah, okay, they definitely don't give a shit about getting shot in the face. They are also very fast. Okay, good to know. I need to be able to count for how fast they are. So I need adequate time to prepare myself so I can compensate for where they're going to be and how far they are away. Hello? I know there's also like some sort of gravity feature where you can like suck things up and throw them at things. And I think that's what these combustible red looking canisters are for. But I'm not entirely sure about that. More stuff. More stuff. Cool. Any more spooky nasty men that I should be concerned about? Yep, there's one. What about up here? Am I safe? Yes. Okay. Sensitive, like I said. It's very, very sensitive. Okay. How did there, sunshine? The world says hello. Any more nasty people? I don't hear any more spooky noises. That isn't to say that they're lying in wait for me, though. So where are they? There's no way that's it. There's only like three or four dudes here. Yep. Oh, I see. I gotta follow the cable. Okay, I understand. I see what's going on here. I think, anyway. I gotta follow the cable to divert the power to the place, right? Isaac, can you quit breathing like that? I thought it was an enemy. Holy shit. He's trying to trip me up, for sure. Okay, red cable goes up. Red cable goes right. Red cable goes way over there. That looks nice. Too bad she doesn't have to deal with evil necromorphian fucking angry things. Okay. So where's this red cable that I'm looking for? I can't seem to find it. Is it something that I have to shoot? Oh, there's another layer to this place. That's what it is. Okay, how do I get up there then? Or am I not supposed to? That doesn't do anything. I thought it might be a control for the bridge, but it's not. There's no ladder, there's nowhere to climb up. Huh. So... What exactly do I do then? So if I'm being honest, this doesn't make a lot of sense. I am not understanding this at all. Oh, there's an area here that I didn't go in. That's what it is. No more scary nasties. Yeah, there's a blue glowing box. That means I haven't been here yet. If there's still boxes that are left unsmashed, I've not been here. Oh, there's an elevator. I see. That makes more sense than a ladder for a space station, I think. How many nasties do you have in here? One? Thirty? Probably at least six. I swear to god, I'm gonna break open one of these crates and there's gonna be a whole bunch of squiggly little worm things that are gonna jump into my eyes and like breed inside my head or something. That has me greatly concerned. Isaac with the quick things. Get fucked. 
You're not alive. Are you alive? You are not alive. What about you? Are you alive? Also not alive. What about behind me? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Around the corner. Nothing. Right. I'm just being incredibly attentive. Circuit breaker. So, I know how Resident Evil works when it comes to core progression. I don't know how these games work when it comes to core Gameplay. progression. Very different Gameplay. things. This seems like the kind of game where they could literally just throw a whole bunch Gameplay. of nonsense at you at a moment's Gameplay. notice and you don't know how the fuck to contend with anything. And I've heard that's where a lot of the trial of and error of this game comes into play. Repair Invoice, USG Ishimura, Aerospace Engineering Department, Shuttle Repairs Invoice, Mission Day 2. Faulty 4 Yairo, Vessel USG Ish 503, replaced, now functional. Faulty 40 Scope, Vessel USG Ishimura 501, still in repair, Mission Day 4, damaged landing repulsors. So this just must be a maintenance a notice, I think. Oh shit. Oh yes. Oh my god. Oh fuck yeah. I'm so ready for this. Okay, that sounded like it came from behind me. It did. Come on, boys. Oh, I got hit, didn't I? Okay, how do I heal? How do I heal? How do I do that? Oh, circle. Okay, circle heals. Alright. So it seems like this is gonna be very pressuring combat. If they have a quick button, they do it. Okay. I really shouldn't have taken the hit there. I was trying to fire at the canister, but once again, the sensitivity is far too high. So, let me see if I can turn down the sensitivity a little bit. It's kind of... Oh, wow. Okay, I can't turn down the sensitivity any more than it already is. That's okay, I'm just gonna have to get used to it then. If I don't have any option around it, then I'm just gonna have to acclimate to it. Hello, sunshine. Okay, that is admittedly very fucking scary. I was a pit stomp. I was trying to fire the gun. If you don't mind. Okay, that is the one thing that's really pissing me off about the game so far, is the stick sensitivity is far too ridiculous. It's really hard to compensate for. Like, I feel like I really just wasted a shit ton of health items on account of that. I'm not very happy about it. I guess it's just ringing at the survival horror list in me that I'm trying to conserve and be as conservative as I can and use all my resources. Okay, I've never seen a purple thing, so I'm gonna hold off on picking that up just in case it triggers something. Wait, what? Said repair equipment. Yeah. Oh, it says upgrade. Oh, you can upgrade things. So it is like Callisto. Upgrade weapons and rig using the bench. Improve the selected weapon or rig's capabilities by investing power nodes in their upgrade graph. Unlock new upgrades. To gain access to unique upgrades and expand the weapon's upgrade graph, bring upgrade parts to the bench. In exchange for credits. Okay, so I can improve my suit or I can improve my weapon. And I have one node. Uh, okay, I don't really think I need a upgrade for my health at this point. So I'm going to upgrade damage for the plasma cutter real quick, just so I can conserve ammo a little bit more. So that's how this works. Okay. And then I'm wondering if weapons get like alternate firing modes or like special supplementary abilities or something like that. Oh, there's a purple thing here, too. We can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay. Daniels, watch that door. Yeah, I think the compensatory aspect of the aiming is the only complaint I have about the game so far. 
To M. Smith from J. Wright, Poker Night. Keeping the soft rig link in case Benson's listening in. You in for poker tonight, or are you going to let Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? GFW to J. Wright from M. Smith. Reply to Poker Night. I'm in, but can you not invite pay the... I'm in, but can you not invite Pavey this time? I know she's st he's still blaming me. God damn it. Fucking son of a bitch. I'm in, but can you not invite Pavey this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Saracy's accident and everything, but no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares. Especially that one where he saw Saracy up and walking around with half his head missing. And don't give me shit about it. I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed, talking to me. It felt so real. I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day, and trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. I am very sorry about that. Apparently I am illiterate as hell, and I can't read. No, I'm good on the bench right now. Oh, these are credits I'm picking up. I see. Okay, that sounded like it came from right there. Hello, sunshine. This is cool. It's like a highly compressed energy beam. What? No way. Why are you alive? God damn it, dude. That's fucking brutal. I thought he was dead. I wouldn't have ran past him so haphazardly had I known he was still crawling around. Okay, this is not all that bad so far. I've taken a lot of really stupid damage from a lot of really stupid shit, but other than that, it's not really that bad so far. Okay, he's dead. So the upgrade for the damage for the plasma cutter, I've noticed is definitely coming in handy for absolute sure. It's chopping through them way quicker than it did before. Unlocked. Wait, what room is this? Save station. Save station. Save station, okay. Empty save slot. Chapter 01. Alright, you know what? That's that's getting a little bit ridiculous. Okay, I'm sorry, TTS lady, but you gotta go. You're killing my immersion in the spooky space station, so I'm sorry. Audio. Okay, alright, that is so much better. I'm sorry about that. Botched to all fuck, but it's okay. It's fine. Oh, I see. So that must be the tram. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. Well, I'm pretty sure the maintenance crew is fucking taking a vacation permanently. Vacation to the afterlife. I'm pretty sure they're unavailable. Additional repairs required. What kind of additional repairs? I thought that's what I went to go all that way for, was to get the board and come back. I guess not, though. Wait, maybe I have to go in here for something. Maybe that's what this is. Just a spooky thing? Just a spooky thing. Okay. Second spooky thing? Oh, nice. We got an R. Oh, that's my gravity. Yeah, that's my gravity gauntlet, isn't it? I was gonna say, this door seems like the perfect kind of point to, uh... Introduce that kind of mechanic. Okay, so... How do I use the gravity thing? Bringing a door malfunction between you and the maintenance bay. Can you fix it? No, but I found a stasis module. If I'm faster than... I got it. Okay, so it's obvious that I have to use the stasis to be able to get through the door, but how do I use it? I thought it said press L or something like that, but it doesn't appear that I can do that. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. So I can use stasis on things other than... Got you. Okay. I didn't think I could use it on the environment itself. Okay. That changes the game a little bit, I think. Let's do that. Let's create a backup save, just in case I happen to fuck myself. Like that. That didn't take very long, did it? Just spooky nonsense? It seems like it was. Okay. So that's obviously a roundabout route, so I have to come back through, I think. What's in here? More necromorphs? What is that? Something inside the vents? Great. My favorite. Okay, well this one has a box treat. This can't possibly be evil. No hallway containing box treats could be evil. Unless it's like a big empty open room. Then it could be kind of slightly evil. Okay. Got some more credits. Got another med pack. That's cool. So the med packs are the double bar things. Gotcha. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that. That was another power node, I think. Is this a workbench? Message retrieved. Looks like a workbench. Vents into engineering. No, I think the workbenches are the things that have the lights on them, actually. The auto loader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked... How much ammo do I have? Temple here, sending it says I have ten rounds, now. but that might just be what's what in the magazine, not how much I actually no have. No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down, and I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. Okay. Can't get through there. Okay, so I guess let's go back the other way. Let's go down the opposite end of the hall. What's this? Open shutters to repair train. Repair systems online. I guess. Loading systems reinitialized. How bad is it gonna get? How bad is it gonna be? Warning. I missed some plasma cover. Please contact a repair technician. How come everything in the ship is fucking warped, dude? I don't have a degree to fix all this shit. I'm Isaac Clark. I kill spooky, nasty, scary aliens. Not whatever this shit is. Okay. Oh, that's the repair tool for the thing, isn't it? That is kind of bullshit. Like, the fact that he did the animation and I walked around his body so his limb would not hit me and then it trajects and hits me anyway, that kind of sucks. It's cool, but like, wow. That's fine. Whatever. I didn't expect a necromorph behind me. So I guess that's fair. There we go. Okay, are there gonna be more spawns that I should be keeping an ear out for? It doesn't appear to be. I think we're safe. For now. Anyway. Ready then. Now what? How much more evil can it get than that? That was like, what, three necromorphs? Four necromorphs? Manually attach claws to initiate repairs. How do I do that? Okay, that's activated, and the other thing is activated, but there doesn't appear to be another control module. So, what am I supposed to do here? Exactly. I don't appear to be able to go through the door. It says standby. It says it's on lock, so... If it's on lock, and I can't get down there to the place, then what am I supposed to do? Oh. There we go. disengaged. Any luck moving that tram car? The auto loader's busted. But Stasis should do the trick. Just gotta time it. Great. But hurry. Wait, it's okay. Stasis. Sound carries down here. Oh, I see. Right, loader claw 
engaged. There we go. Now I understand. Now I get it. Okay, so now I retract it, right? Yes, okay. I see. I understand. I get it now. So stasis is for freezing things, not for making things move slower. I see. Okay, let's get some range. There's gotta be more than that. I don't believe you. There's no way there's not more than that. There's not more than that. Okay. Wait, so now what am I doing? What's up, Chappy? Okay, so I can compensate for the shit sensitivity by just very slightly nudging it, it would appear. So I don't have to force it as far as I thought I would. Should be able to call you arrive at the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. Okay. Let's hit the stasis recharge while we're here. <laughs> Oh, that leads me to wonder, can I use stasis on enemies, too? Is that possible? Can I do that? Maybe I can slow them down or immobilize them if I do that. 